We continue to make the connection between Paul and John. Keep in mind that they write with two different um, perspectives. John, being an apostle of the Master, knows about his in the earthly life. Paul writes only after the ascension. But for Paul and John, the incarnation of Jesus, his death on the cross, were high expressions of God's love. So the incarnation, the death on the cross, are great expressions of God love, God's love. However, between the incarnation and the death of Jesus lies his public ministry. So I hope you all are seeing a kind of a picture emerging. Paul and John talk about the incarnation, the death on the cross. But what happens between the incarnation and the death is public ministry. And that is where Luke the Evangelist speaks about God's love through the medium of the public life of Jesus. So Paul and John, incarnation and um, death, crucifixion, and the gap is filled with Luke the Evangelist who speaks about the public ministry of Jesus. So we get the whole as aspect of the life of, of Jesus as we talk about the love of Almighty God. Luke the Evangelist strongly emphasizes Christ's mercy and compassion. So Paul and John they see obedience as a central theme Luke now talks about mercy and compassion. So it is coming a bit complex, but not too complex to understand. Right? So I repeat, Paul and John, they see obedience as central. Luke now sees the love of God and he uses two themes, mercy and compassion. So we have obedience, mercy, compassion. This is vividly explained in three parables that exclusively speak about the mercy of God. So we have the first one, the parable of the lost sheep. Just give you an overview. Luke chapter 15 verses 4 to 7. Luke chapter 15 verses 8 to 10, the lost coin. Then Luke chapter 15 verses 11 and following, the lost son. So we could say from in Luke chapter 15, we get the three important parables that the first one speaks about the lost sheep. The second one, the lost coin. The third one, the lost son. And three of them have a central theme, the word lost. The first two parables follow a similar pattern, lost, search, recovery, joy, and invitation in the joy. The third, however, introduces two new dimensions, the lost sheep, conversion, and exuberant welcome by the Father. The happiness of the Father is compared to the happiness of the angels in heaven, mentioned in the two previous parables. The central theme of these three parables is joy over the recovery and the invitation to share that joy. So we stop here today and tomorrow we continue.